Huh. That didn't work. Jesse, can I ask you a question? Sure. It's, it's about DBA tools. I'm trying to figure out uh, if I can automate my backups. I feel like there's got to be a way to do this in DBA tools, but I'm, I'm on the website looking at the, all the different commands, and there's so many of them. How, is there a, like a, a backup command or something? There is. There is a lot of commands. There's over 500 now. Uh, but you can use backup DBA database to backup your databases. Okay. You can just pass in your SQL instance, or okay. more than one SQL instances if you want. Is that comma delimited or how yep, is that? Yep, okay. just comma and another instance. Uh, then pass in your database. Okay. Uh, you can also pass in multiple databases if you want. Oh, that's cool. And if you want, you can specify a backup directory if you don't want it to go to your default backup location. Oh, okay, that's neat. Yeah, so there's also a couple of switches you could use here. You could okay. use the compressed backup switch, which would take advantage of backup compression. Okay. Or you could use the copy only switch, which would make sure you didn't mess up your LSN chain. Ah, uh, that's, that's good to know. Uh, Great, I'm gonna script this out. That'll help in backing up like my 100 databases. For sure. Um, do you have time for one more question? Sure. So I know some of my databases aren't in full recovery. and I don't wanna have to go through each one to figure out which ones aren't simple. Uh, is there a command for that? There certainly is. DBA tools can help you with that too. What's the command? If you use get dash DBA DB recovery model. Okay. You can pass in your SQL instance again. Okay. And then you can pass in your recovery model. So if you want to find all the databases in simple recovery, mm -hmm. just pass simple in. Oh, okay. And it'll return all the databases in simple recovery mode. That's right. Oh, wow. Very cool. That's awesome. So you can also pass in multiple servers again to this. If you had them registered in a CMS or in a text file even, you could read those in and do more than one server at once. Nice. So I could just take this list and then I'll go into Management Studio and start clicking through well, each day. You could do that, that would okay. work. But with DBA tools, you can pipe the output that we just got from the get command into a set command. So if we find all the databases that we want to change that are in simple recovery mode, we'll pipe those into set DBA DB recovery model. Okay. Tell it we want to put them in full recovery. Okay. And then just press enter and they'll all be changed. Oh, wow, very cool. So yeah. I don't have to go and click through all my databases. That's right. Don't forget to go and take a full backup once you do that though, otherwise they'll be in pseudo simple mode. Oh, okay, good to know. And I, I guess I have another question if you have time. You know, Bert, there's a, there's a command that can help you with that too. DBA <laughs> tools can answer your questions for you. Really? What's, what's that command? So you want to use find DBA command. Okay. You can either pass in a tag, like compression, Okay. and find all the commands that have the tag compression, or you can just pass in a keyword. It's like if you do find DBA mm -hmm. command and then the keyword trigger, Okay. It'll find all of the times that trigger is mentioned in the inline command help. Wow, this is going to save me so much time. Thanks for your, your help. Uh, I have to take off for a session here in a minute, but where are you going to be next? What events? I'll be in Cincinnati for the SQL Saturday event in March. And then I'm actually presenting at Data Grillin in June. In, in Germany? Germany? Yeah. Whoa, so. that's so cool. And are you presenting on PowerShell? Yeah, yes. PowerShell Desired State. Wow, yeah, very gonna cool. Yeah, we're going to try and install and configure a SQL server using that. So During your session, live? Maybe. We'll see. Very exciting. All right. Thanks, Jess. You're welcome.